welcome to MRU TV, and we are bringing you live the Guild debate, and it's a whole race. And my name is Emmanuel Mukasa. I'll be the moderator for this session. I welcome you all. Let's have the heat of this debate. So the program will go as follow. The EC will give a brief of these campaigns and the rules of the game and also after the candidates will start giving a brief about themselves. I welcome the EC to give a brief. Uh, thank you Mr. Margarita, Mr. Mukasa Emanuel. How is from? He's my name. The Chairperson Electoral Commission 2023-2024. I'm glad to debate with my colleagues, my candidates, and still your candidates, the people you're going to entrust power with. Fortunately, I'm here to let the public know, to let the candidates also know what should they follow, what should they do. When we are into politics, we should know it comes and goes. It is just a timely thing. It is something simple that will happen today and it ends tomorrow. It will be nowhere tomorrow. We have the rules and regulations that govern us, of which they were pinned and of which they were sent into your WhatsApp groups, they were sent onto your emails. These fellow colleagues, the candidates, the guild presidents, and the campus presidents, they have them in hard and soft copies. You should follow. I'm just asking for everyone that is viewed, never take anything for granted, even a smile of a ghost. I pray that when we come to the end, the grease is worth it, the squeeze. Thank you, Mr. Mugrita. Thank you, the Chairperson Electoral Commission, Tessa Royal University. We are going to go through the participants of this debate. We have the Guild contestants or the Guild presidents. We have Muonge Martin. We have Chitata Sekabembe Derek. We have Mutabazi Steven, and then we have the campus presidents. We have Katana Caroline Nora, and we have Lunkuse Rose. Respectively, we will start with Chitata Sekabembe Derek to give a brief about himself and all that he plans for this great university. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Moderator. First of all, I want to correct my name. My name is Chita Tasekalembe Derek, the guild aspirant on NUP ticket. I'm from the main campus, as the constitution says, and I'm contesting as the guild president to take all the campuses of the of Mtesa, the first Royal University. Have been a GRC of business faculty, which means that I have experience about what I'm going in. My slogan throughout the elections is Operation Redefining Mtesa. How are we going to redefine Mtesa? We are going to redefine Mtesa through bridging the gap between the administration and the guild, the gap between the students of Kakeka campus and the gap and the main campus. 
which is based in Masaka. I'm going to work upon accountability. We have to give and we have to be accountable of all the money that the students pay to see that they get the, the service they pay for. Another thing about accountability, the, the, guild, the guild cabinet should give the accountability about the funds they get as the guild funds. When I was, when we were passing the budget of the, the last, I may call it the last regime because we are now in the process of getting the current regime. As I told you that I was in the council, the deputy speaker, I quoted him very well. He said, no, please don't take pics of the budget to saturate, to saturate it in the students. Which means that there was there was miss <coughs> how can I call it? There was miss budgeting. Because he, may, he, he didn't want us to take the budget to the students. He wanted to leave it in the guild council. Though it is the students to pay the funds they are going to use, or we were going to use. Time yes, Mr. Moderator. Another thing I'm going to do about is to increase the number of students. How am I going to do that? We are to be in cooperation with some associations where I'm a member, like Baganda and Kobazambogo. We, we can use that association to visit other schools and host them at the campus in this to attract them to the campus. Another association is Africa Youth Leadership Forum. We can use that to market the university, which may, which may increase the number of students at the university. We really need to take up a great university to the next level. We're going to have Muonge Martin profile himself. Tell us what is good from Tessa Royal University. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, good afternoon, everyone watching over there. My name is Mwangi Martin. Uh, I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in arts with education, that is mathematics and entrepreneurship. Uh, I've been working as the speaker, Mesa, that is Mutesa, Mutesa, the First Royal University Education Teachers Association. Uh, I came out to contest on the post of Guild President. This is my manifesto. Uh, first of all, or to begin with, marketing the university. Uh, in this, as the MLI fraternity, it's our responsibility to market the university. I personally uh, am the spokesperson, spokesperson at our campus, Yuruma Masaka. Uh, we've been having uh, outreaches to other areas. For instance, last time we went to Mutukula to market the university. That means we have to, to be having some activities. For instance, sports. If you go to the other universities and you play those friendly matches with other universities. It will help us to market our university. Uh, another thing is promoting talents. Uh, 
in this I mean, I'm um, in Bagana Koba Zambogo, uh, and we we have many activities done into that association. Among those activities, we have uh, films, then playing some games, for example, football, and I think that will help us to market the university further. Uh, the other point is promoting academic excellence. Uh, you find out that you complete the, the semester when you've even not covered the whole syllabus. So I would make sure that the university administration, at least they attain the junior lecturers to assist our major or main lecturers to complete those syllabuses. Those syllabi. Uh, another thing to promote education excellence is to put more emphasis on the online lectures and online libraries. Some, some questions do need online lectures, because we are on digital, but they are lectures which are to be held physically. Uh, another thing is revising some policies. For real, it's not the, uh, it's not the university to cater for the students, but it's we, the students, to cater for ourselves. So, the university can't start anything when we've not paid tuition. So we need to pay tuition in time. But when they put their the policy of the gate policy, it means that students should, shouldn't be charged for that, at least the late fee. Let the students be denied at least the gate policy, but at least they don't they don't penalize us twice. Yeah. Uh, my my Another thing is promoting games and sports, by the way. I'm a man of sports and I'm, I'm the goalkeeper, Chirumba Campus. Uh, and I know what will make our university to vibe, because my slogan is making a vibrant Mutesa, is sportsy. Mutesa last participated in inter-university games far away back. And our friends are asking, for, for instance, those, those from different universities, why is, is that your university is not participating in the university games? It's our law, the students and the administration, to push back our university in the sports scene. Because, uh, and sports also helps to get the university known. How sure that the, the woman or the girl you're gonna marry is from the institution? So if we keep on visiting other universities or participating in those universities, we, we also get connections. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank that. you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for that wonderful submission. You know, leadership calls for those that are ready. If you're not ready, you can't be a leader. So everyone who is here, is the leader. So believe that you are the leader that is going to take Mutesa to the great heights. It's really a top-notch debate. You see how people are pouring out their hearts of the grievances that they are facing and how they are going to overcome them. Let's have Mutawazi Stephen, the yellow man, to give a brief about him. Thank you so much, Mr. Moderator. I'm Dawa Steven, a second year student pursuing a bachelor's degree in social work and social administration from the Faculty of Social Science, Arts and Humanities. First and foremost, uh, as a guild aspirant, the top leader of students in the Maite Royal University, if I'm given a chance by my fellow students, and the following uh, my agenda. First and foremost, uh, my lobbying capacity. As you know that the guild, the guild funds may not be sufficient to finance all the needs of the students as well as the guild, act, the guild activities. So uh, me as Mtawa Steven, I have ability and I can lob to my capacity to, 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 make, to add a certain percentage to that guild fund to make all the activities 
effectively funded for. Another one is co-cultural activities like sports. You are all very aware that each and every student pays a Girudi sports fee in each and every academic year. But this sports fee are doing nothing for, 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 for the benefit of the students because we are not participating in, in any sports activity. Like a, like a football, netball, volleyball. And yet you are all very aware that sports is constituting a certain percentage to the development of the country and the world at large. Because people are getting employment and a, a serious employment from that field of sports. So as 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 a, a good president, I I am very ready to push this sports issue by working hand in hand with my fellow students to force this ad, these administrators to to also put some effort in sports. Another one is academic excellence. Academic excellence is built by a number of reasons in the field. For example, the attendance of lecturers, the, the, the studency attendance, also the, the situations where students uh, attend lectures. For example, for our main campus in Chirumba, mostly lectures, you know very well that lecturers love to stay at Kakeka. They don't want to come in the villages. So, there we need some, some strong internet so that those students from Chirumba can attend these lectures with effective internet. But you are all very aware that now the internet fee is raised to 50,000. But the strength of it is still at at even zero cost. So this means that we are paying for something we are not we are not benefiting from. So I'm ready to raise my voice to the administrators so that we can gain we can get a stronger internet to to also ease us in studying so that we can achieve excellence in academics. Another one is I, I said in the, when I was starting this, my speech that how am I going to benefit the university? Me the as time, a... The time is up. Very sorry. I may not have still in the aspect. Thank you so much for that submission. One great leader, John Quenchy, says, if your actions inspire others, dream more, learn more, do more and become more, you are a leader. Let's have our next candidate, none other than Nunkuse Rose. Uh, good afternoon, Tessanians. This is Nunkuse Rose from the Faculty of Education and doing entrepreneurship and CRA. That's my major subject. My manifesto is all about not me but us. We are here, not me but us. I'm a candidate for the students. And my manifesto, I managed to summarize it with five points. That is cooperation with other universities. Uh, students, students support and motivation. Service delivery, accountability, and policy review. In this all, I meant that if I speak about the student support and motivation, this is all about we need to bring back the lost hope of the, of the students in the university. How are we going to bring about it? We have seen that our university, it's nowhere in the spiritual garden. It's nowhere in the sports garden. That means we have to organize those sports garden so that we participate, so that we can market our university. Then motivating the students. When I managed to move around, I knew that in IT, in art, in tourism, we have good students that have nice art, but they just need to be, it just needs to be exhibited out to the students out. 
girl needs to be marketed so that it can help us in the marketing of our university. Then when we talk about the cooperating with other universities, how is it going to help us? We need to go and we know what is happening in Indeji. We don't already know what is happening in Indeji. But we need to follow up what is happening there because we need it. We have our fellow, this is Buganda Royal Institute. It's an ENE institute that stops on honorary certificates and diploma. That means if we go on and we cooperate with that university, that means we are marketing our university and we are going to get students who are going to come here and they upgrade from here. Then there is also this service delivery. That is, we just lack something small, that is just bridging, bridging the gap. We just need the gap that is between the students and the lecturers. Because with, in Mutasawano University, I would like to notify you guys, we still have lecturers that are called host lecturers and last minute lecturers. These are lecturers that pretend to move around. They pretend that they are studying, but they are not seriously teaching students. Yet, they, at the end of the day, they set tests, they set exams, and they don't, and students are called upon to do those exams. Yet at the end, what, what are, why, why do I call these people ghost lecturers? They appear at the last hour. They say that they have scheduled the timetable, now they come in. Now they come in. Now also we have the problem in business. We no longer have the, week, the evening program. We have lost many students that would come to Mtesa University, but they are, want to, they are yearning for that, for that evening program. Then, when I talk about the policy review, I think our university, we have like examination policy. The examination policy, the person enters the test time without an answer sheet. We start fidgeting to buy those answer sheets. People start putting in money, yet they also pay for money, that 50,000 for examination fee. They pay for it, yet at the same time, they buy financial statement, they buy checklists, we need to upgrade at least we find these things online. This is a digital world. We find these things online. When I call about the accountability of the university, right now this is the Kabaka University, we have to market it. We have to seriously market it. It has to be one of the top universities in, this, in the central and in the northern. Then when I go and on the students of welfare, I would like to notify my VC that we are still having one gate on the Tessa University. We need as an emergency gate that in case, in any case, we just think in case of a terrorist coming in inside here. Where have you thought of this? Where are they going to run to and they get out of the university? Thank you for that wonderful submission. Let's have Katna Caroline Nora. Thank you so much, Mr. Moderator. My name is Katana Caroline Nora, uh, a student of mass communication, year to second semester, and I'm, I've come in for the position of campus president. Um, my manifesto is based on three pillars, and I'm going to mention them as follows. The first one is student-based co-curricular activities. The second one is flexible academics in line with the new digital era. The third one is Hashtag a proud Mutesanian. I'm going to give my manifesto based on the points that I've, that the pillars that I've given down. The first one is, I've noticed that uh, students of Kakeka campus have been missing a lot of lectures. And why is this? It's because of the penalties that have been given to us. For example, the gate policy. That gate, that gate policy keeps students out of the university because they have not paid a certain amount of tuition. What should we do about this? Dear administrators, I plead on behalf of our students that why do you penalize us twice with the late registration fee as well as the gate policy? I believe my students, we as fellow students, deserve to attend the lectures and also to avoid the missing of coursework and tests as well. Because by the end of the semester, you realize that people are going to get retakes. The second thing is, I want to pull the uh, associations in the campus. For example, the Ankova Zambogo, 
uh, I've, I've discovered that it has been dying, dying out, but I want to bring it back. How? Through the cultural galas. This is a mighty royal university that belongs to the Kavaka. We should be promoting the culture of this university. We should be promoting things like, uh, wa uh, wa sorry, we should be promoting things like workshops. These students need entertainment in this school. Why? To refresh their minds. So I'm going to make sure that if you give me the mandate to lead you as the campus president, we are going to bring back those associations on board so that these students can engage as well and learn. The second thing is, uh, I want to introduce uh, seminars. To me, it is a bit lacking. Uh, for example, the tourism department, the mass communication department, we want to ensure that these students go on for trips, for seminars, to e enhance their exposure. Because the learning in class alone is not going to help them gain the knowledge even outside. We need to get exposure by get going to those field trips and the seminars as well. Uh, my other uh, point that is in my manifesto is, we have, I beg on behalf of my students, that we reduce on the internet fee. My dear administrators, these students need the internet because the world is advancing. We most of the times uh, remember that we have a lot of online lectures more than the lectures that are in class. Because you find that I made a research in the uh, Faculty of Education, they have one lecturer, but he's supposed to teach at Kakeka, at the same time he's supposed to teach at Masaka Chirumba. So if he's, if he's in either Masaka, then the, well, the students in, uh, in Kakeka have to be online. And the internet is also not there. We need this internet and we need the fee reduced as well because we need to learn more things on the internet besides the classes. Then the other thing is uh, I've discovered that we have few lecture rooms. My dear students, if you give me the mandate to lead you, I'm going to make sure that at least we get more buildings in this school. Why should um, the, the, the faculty of uh, science, technology, and art and design have one laboratory for doing their um, practicals? Yet even the students that offer bachelors of education with ICT have to use the same laboratory. I think we should also, those people should have different labs which they use. So I think we should also work on to that and get more laboratories and classrooms as well. Uh, the other thing is, when it comes to... We have zero seconds. Thank you so much, moderator. A glance at the aim of regionalism empowerment. When you take a sport or either take a deep look at the way the aim of regionalism department is devoted to the practice. It is hands-on to every participant and backed by the Wellstock Studios of Rio FM and Aim Rio TV. The department has fit the group of practice with outstanding personnel backed by professionals in the practice and it is seen from the products of the different students take a glance at every sector the Rio FM has all the required machines and personnel to release a well-backed student the MRO TV now has some of the most competitive programs in the media world it is Motesa One Rio University Journalism Department. Second session of the debate. And then our session is going to be very simple to each and every candidate. You're going to have one minute each candidate, and those are five minutes. And then the only thing you will do is in one minute to address the students. So I'll start with Derek Sekalembe Chitata. You're good to go. 
Thank you, Mr. Modulator. <coughs> As you say that we have to address the students, dear fellow students, don't be intimidated. There is a tendency of intimidating students as they talk about the wrongdoings of the administration. The administration come in, the administration come in and it intimidates students. So please students, don't be intimidated. It's your right to advocate for what you pay for, for what you come for. Please don't sit down. Raise up your voice. You have to vote wisely by voting a person who is to represent you, who is a voice of students, not a voice of the state. Please choose or vote wisely when time comes on 12th May. Please see where there is Chita Taseka and the Derek. You will see a man putting on a red coat, a red tie. That is me, who is to represent you to the administration and other committees that a good president represent the students. Thank you so much for that session. Can we have the next candidate? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, I will say good afternoon once again. My name is Mwongi Martin and my slogan is making a vibrant Mdesa. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we need Mdesa to vibrate. Uh, I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in arts education, that is mathematics and entrepreneurship. Uh, I'm here to request for your support. Dear, dear students, it's the right time you assess the person who is down down to you, who is close to you, who can hear your voice, who, who can present you in the good council. So, don't mess up at the last hour. Assess all the candidates, don't, no matter what the card, no matter what the looks, but just assess the person, the Thank capability you. of that. Thank you so much for that submission. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Once again, I'm Mutaba Steven, the guild aspirant. Good afternoon, my fellow students. I'm here kindly requesting you to support me as your guild president 2023-2024. My slogan is socialization for a transformative agenda, which means we have to work hand in hand. Me as a guild president and my fellow students plus the administration to make our agenda or to make my to make my my manifesto successful. So even if you trust me with your votes and support and when I'm in power, also stay with me so that we can achieve each and everything. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. You're welcome. Lunkuse Rose. Once again, good afternoon with the Sanians in the name of Jesus Christ and assalamu alaikum to the Muslim fraternity. My name is Lung Seros, and the currently the nominated campus president. I am the currently the nominated campus president. I am from the Faculty of Education and doing entrepreneurship and CRA. My slogan is not me but us. When I mean not me but us, it's with students. I'm here for students and I'm going to put students rights first. Student rights first. When I mean student rights first, it's student rights first. So I'm asking for your votes on 12th May and thank you for listening to me. Thank you for that wonderful submission. Let's have Katna Caroline Nora. Thank you so much, Mr. Moderator. Once again, a good afternoon, MRA students. My name is Katana Caroline Nora a student pursuing a bachelor's in mass communication, year to second semester, and I'm coming in for the office of campus president. My slogan is service with excellence. What do I mean by service with excellence? I'm going to serve you even beyond 
your expectations. What do I mean? Whatever you expect of me, I'm going to do way better. I'm going to do it beyond what you think, what I'm capable of doing. And another thing, trust the person you see that is capable to take Motes at the first year university forward. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for that wonderful submission. It's a hot race. People are throwing out all their tenets. We put a scenario. And this comes to Madame Runkuse Rose. You are the campus president of Mutesa One, the first royal university. What do you talk about the marks for sex? Me, what you have I, one minute. Me, what I talk about the marks for sex. The marks for sex, actually, I, I don't know, but it has been going on in rooming that we have students who get marks for sex. But this, we are going to fight it. My dear students, this is the time, this is girl power. We don't need to first put in our bodies to get marks. We need to work for marks. When you have any lecturer who is on your back, please, we have recorders in our, in our phones. Record the lecturer. Take screenshots of, the, of those texts he's, he's asking you. Max Via, because we are here to help you when you have evidence. You have to come with a clear evidence so that the university can come out and we stop that thing. Thank you so much for that submission. Uh, what's your general overview, Madame Katana Caroline, on the girl child getting pregnant alongside the journey of attaining their bachelor's degree? Do you say the university should exit them or hold them within the university or give them time to come and continue? Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Moderator. Uh, my submission is that everyone deserves a chance. We are human beings. We all make mistakes. At times, these girls don't get pregnant because they want to, but because of certain circumstances, they do get pregnant. But that doesn't mean that the university should throw them out of school because, first of all, the university is for people who are educated and people who are no longer in secondary level, meaning we have a high level of understanding and we're not young children, meaning someone who's pregnant doesn't have to be thrown out of the university, but instead, bring them closer, don't make them feel out of, of place, bring them closer, educate them, teach them, guide them and counsel them and give them a chance to study. Thank you so much. Others see, and who sees before others see. So let's bear this in mind with that quote as leaders who are aspiring to take on this great university. People are talking about the rebranding of Mutesa. Maybe, I, I personally, I may not be knowing the, the real meaning of rebranding maybe the context in which it is used but as we end the debate probably i'll get to know what it really means uh madam katana mutesa one Roy university has got a lot of students out there yearning to join it as the brand ambassador of this great university and this great campus in the heart of the city, what things will you do that will bring in more and more people to come to this great university? Thank you so much, Mr. Moderator. Uh, first and foremost, most students out there are not coming to Mutesa, the first real university, because we lack a charter. We are not a chartered university, and we are not recognized. My fellow students, we need the charter. I will make sure I fight tooth and nail to get that charter, because it is one way 
that brands the university and brings in more people. Because so many students have graduated. Madam Katana. Yes, please. Which connection do you have with the people to sign our charter? There is one thing, I'm the moderator and I give, uh, <laughs> I give, I say it, you are next to me. I don't know how your ears are. <laughs> I said whoever has the conch must talk. Okay? And so she has the floor. Okay. Let's not be leaders who are gluttonous. Lady, go on. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. So as I was saying, we need the charter. We need to be chartered so as to bring in more students in the university. Second of all, we need to organize uh, associations. We need to empower these associations to go on and market the university. Because no one can market the university apart from the stakeholders, the students themselves. They need to market the university and feel proud of it. That is where my third uh, attribute comes from. Uh, comes from hashtag a proud Mutesanian. We need to be proud of our university. If you're not proud of your university, then how will you go out there and tell people, please come to my university? Because if you have bias on it, then definitely you're not going to call anyone to join. Thank you so much. Mr. Mutabazi. Yes, sir. Stephen. Yes, sir. A lot of things have been promised by all the contestants. Those in their verge and those outside their verge. But then, what are the tenets of the guild president? What things are entitled to the guild president? Mr. Mutawazi. Yes, Mr. Mutawazi. Are you related to the Mutawazi who came people? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a by the way. <laughs> Mr. Mutawazi. Mutesa one has got students from different sphere's of this country. If you realize that there is a certain group of people who are kakuni and segregating others, doing a lot of dubious things, Okay? Finding them on the roads and hacking them to death, kicking them out. What would you do as a unifier, because you're a leader, who will unify the two campuses? First and foremost, I don't support violence. But the major, the major solution I can, I, can, I can put in place is getting some, some as a leader, I can get some professionals who can counsel those, those, those kind of people to, to, to make them feel that they are, they, are, they are brothers and sisters to each and everybody in this country. Who, who, whoever comes from a different, different part of Uganda, but when we are at the same place, like uh, we are studying from the same university, so each and everybody is related to one another. Thank you so much, Mr. President, the aspiring president of this great university. Mr. Mwonge, this is the last question of the sessions. Mutesa One, Roy University has got its values, okay? And every student must adhere. People are complaining about the gate. What are you going to do as a leader to cut down the rate at which it is impacting students to miss their lectures? Uh, well, there are many measures that can be called to cover that, that thing. Uh, to begin with, uh, the administrators or the university buses should resign those cards, lecture cards, that if the, the student 
has not paid the tuition to the, to the person they, they, they feel that they want. They allow him or her to enter the university, at least to get to discuss with his or her fellow colleagues. Or, when you are denied access to lectures, at least let them, let the, the administration not penalize you for the late registration. At least if you are denied lectures, then they don't penalize you. Have you ever been a victim of this? Yeah. And how did you solve it so that it cannot continue? So that you can advise other fellow students? Uh, at the moment, as students, we come, we came, we come from different backgrounds. Uh, but for me, my, my, my issue was that my dad had got some problems, but I don't know the other. But now he is fine, but I don't know the other. You may, you may find out someone that he's the one asking to get tuition. So as a leader, as yeah. a leader, yeah. do you have time to, to call out them and see their grievances? Yeah, because we are studying with all those people. And they are from different backgrounds. Some of, some people have for themselves for, that, for tuition. Others are from poor families, and so they find it is difficult to clear the, the what the finances in time. One thing I know about Intesa Royal University, it gives bursaries. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> As a leader, will you advocate for such a scheme to your fellow students? Yes, because it's a golden chance. If the, 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 the student has got other, other qualifications and he or she can be given a bursary, why, why not? It's a golden chance. Some, sometimes sometimes the, the bursaries are given to people and then they fail to perform. They come here to Laos. Okay? Yes. Yet you seconded them to be given a bursary. Yeah. People come when they wish to come, and then they have retakes like nothing. You know, one day I went to the notes board to check for my marks in my third year. Two young, beautiful ladies, beautiful ladies, came to the notes board. One had got a retake in psychology of education, mm -hmm. and then this lady looked at the retake and said, Oh, and then the other one also came and said, my God, I also have a retake. They hug each other and say, oh, we all have a retake, so misery needs misery. We're going to give, uh, we're going to give one minute each representative from your team, okay, to ask a question. <coughs> about your leadership okay so you have a team that follows you but it has to be not your you know your confident so someone from the other team your five so five questions okay four questions should come from them and then i'll start with <laughs> with mr mugwanya <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Moderator. My name is Mugwanya Henry. Of course, I'm an agent representing His Excellency Peter Kadelik, the man in the red ballet, just like me. Uh, my very one question would go to uh, Mr. Stephen. Uh, of course, you've talked about low Bali, that uh, you have an initiative of finding funds from Tessa One University in a way of lobbying. Mr. Mr. Stephen, don't you think that uh, in most cases, for the organizations that give us the, I mean, the, the support, the, 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 the funds, I mean, the, the support, don't you think that there are terms and conditions attached to those finances they give you? Me, I would, I would give you a scenario that if Uganda was to be given aid, by any country, it would have terms like go with our homosexuality. Don't you think that that may bring harm to the Maitreya University of Uganda? I have a suggestion that if you based your manifestation 
on building up and beginning up uh, guild investments, like of course the guild canteens and the restaurants, I think it would work better for us a source of finance for this mitral institution. Thank you so much. Responding to Mr. Bugani, lobbying, I was not meaning only funds, but like for example in the in the in the current guild guild cabinet, they they robbed the dozy. A point of correction, it's low. They they robbed the dozy those dusty beans from Riham International, but. It depends on the way how you table up your proposals. That's how they will they will depend also to help you in that in that situation. Rose Bunkuse. Many girls are facing a lot of challenges in the university. Many lose their parents along the journey of attaining their degrees, their diplomas and certificates. As a leader, and a leader who is, whose gender is feminine, what avenues are you going to create to help this race of women? Uh, that race of women who lose their parents they are the one paying them tuition, that is understandable. That's why I talked about the support. We are going to try a level best. As we go child, we are still lucky that we still have people, the go child organizations. First and foremost, I have an organization that is Child Bright Foundation. And we do cater for some of that. And we have even FIDA, that is the organization for women. And they are willing. And if you take your proposal and you say that we have like two girls, they know they have lost their parents in the process. But the, the university, of course, it's an institution. A leader, a leader is born, and leadership starts from the north. Before contesting, have you ever tried to help? Yes. Have ever tried to help through the Child Bright Foundation, and we have gone to primary schools and secondary schools, just helping girl child so that they get their basic needs for, for, for to use at school and to motivate them so that they can stay in school. Because we realize that at the tender age, these, these are the people, like at the age of 14, people usually drop out, out of, like they are, they have been conned by men, they lie at them. So for us, we can't be in a child bright foundation. We go to those students, those grown-ups like 14, we cancel them. We, we make sure that the best needs they want to have, we provide for them. Because it's a girl child, and that foundation is based on the girl child and it's helping girl child. And lastly, but not least, Carolyn. Yes. This university has got shrewd men <coughs> and your woman. You are the girl child. What, what avenues are you going to help to, 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 to help him to help the boy child to? Pardon me, with the last statement. What ways are you going to bring down to help the boy child who is facing a lot of problems? Because sometimes many, everyone is talking about the girl child, the girl child. Men are facing a lot of problems, but they're silent because of their superior being. As a leader who is a unifier, not for only women, but for the general university, men have come to you. What are you going to do for them with their grievances? Thank you so much, Mr. Moderator. Um, thank you so much for, for that question, because actually the way you've stated it, at times men feel that they are superior than us, the women. And through that, it actually makes them think that they cannot come to us for help, because we are, we are inferior to them. 
But this is my message to all young men there who have issues. Please, bold up, come talk to the women. Come talk to us. Because once you, 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 you feel that you're, most, you know, you're more superior than the women, then you're going to be left out. But come, let us come together, work as a team, maybe also formulating um, organizations that empower the boys as well in their, um, maybe their challenges. They have, they have challenges as men. And I beg that if we come up with those organizations to teach them and feel them and make them feel free around the women as well and also work together as a team, maybe we can help them out. And there is a contemporary behind. roaming slogan that goes around that women call men their ATMs. If they do so, when the boy child comes to you, and asked for assistance, monetary, would you be of help? Yes. Mm. If I'm financially stable, I would definitely be of help. Have you ever helped some? Yes, I've ever. Thank God. Dear our viewers, this heat top debate of the 2023-2024 Contestants of this great university, Ntesa, the first royal university, have come to an end. And these candidates you see here have really brought out their views, their aspirations, their future plans for this great university. Others are rebranding it. Others are going to use sports as, as an avenue of marketing this great university. But then tell me you, there is no any other university in East and Central Africa than Mutesa Royal, the first university. So bring your children, bring your students to this great university. I remain Emmanuel Mukasa.